Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Day 29. Our Lady says, My angel, each soul who is consecrated to my maternal heart is endowed with all the merits of my heavenly grace. It is given with no restraint, for you have become the fulfillment of my triumph. You are my donation of salvation. You are, in the end, the witness of my son's sacred heart and the manifestation of his love and mercy. By your participation and application of your consecration to my triumphant immaculate heart. This is all I desire, 
you to shed your heart upon, to allow my son's light to become more recognized and I more loved. This is his most precious desire I wish to be fulfilled. Guidance. In these latter times, Our Lady shall shine forth like never before, in mercy, might, and in grace. In mercy, to bring back and lovingly receive poor sinners, she comes to bring conversion, consecration, and renewal to the Holy Church. She comes to bring a mighty army against the war waged by Satan, he who is the one who shall revolt and rise up against God. Also, she must shine forth in grace, in order to sustain her valiant soldiers who battle for her triumph. Most of all, Our Lady comes to rage battle against evil, for he shall rise up a cruel persecution and shall place terrible snares in the path to holiness. It is written that in the final glory of the triumph, I will put my enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. She shall crush the head of evil with her heel. This enmity is between Mary and Satan. It is in this final battle that we join together to proclaim her our queen, the triumph of her immaculate heart. This triumph begins within our hearts, where for so long it has laid dormant. Direction Our Lady is manifested to the world through our consecration. It is in this way that we are able to shine forth her grace to all people. We are called to be the beacons of truth in the battle for her triumph. This is a war, one that is waged against the children of Mary. What Satan has lost by pride, Mary has gained by humility. What has been lost by disobedience, Our Lady gained by complete submission and abandonment. In original sin, the paradise that God created was destroyed. But Mary, being a faithful servant, has come to save her children. These children, also servants together with her, have consecrated all hearts gained through her to the reign of his sacred heart. So this battle is set between the children of light and those of darkness. It is this persecution we shall feel more than ever before in these days. We should remember that the humble spirit shall always conquer over the proud. Meditation O Immaculate Heart of Mary, manifest in me the glory of your triumph. Strengthen me in battle, for this is truly the fiercest known to mankind. Gain for me, in my consecration, total abandonment. Place me in the battle array of virtue, with the sword of truth as the banner of your triumph. Encourage me by conviction to uphold the values and morals taught by the gospel message. Fortify my stronghold in prayer, that I may find an invincible unity with you and your spouse. Enhance my soul with the stamina to endure the persecution and trials that will come my way, that I may rejoice in the glory of your triumphant victory. Luke chapter 1, verse 48 to 49. From this day forward, all generations shall call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Daily Prayers The Apostles' Creed I believe believe in God, the the Father Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Consecration My Queen, my Mother, I give myself entirely to thee, and to show my devotion to thee, 
I consecrate to thee this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me, guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Amen. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through, through the, the same Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Sharply of virtues, for the virtue of faith. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer through the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten my heart to see the things which are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind, that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul, that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do, that all will be for the glory of God. Amen. For the virtue of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning it's, it's now, now and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten my heart to see the things which are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do, that all will be for the glory of God. Amen. For the virtue of charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen glory be to the father 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, now and, and ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Come Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, enlighten my heart to, to see the things which, which are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind, that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul, that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do, that all will be for the glory of God. Amen. For the virtue of humility, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten my heart to see the things which are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do, that all will be for the glory of God. Amen. For the virtue of patience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptations but deliver us from evil amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as, as it was in the beginning it's now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the holy spirit come holy spirit enlighten my heart to see the things which are of god Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind, that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul, that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do, that all will be for the glory of God. Amen. For the virtue of perseverance, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten my heart to see the things which are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do, that all will be for the glory of God. Amen. For the virtue of obedience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning it's now, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. 
Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten my heart to see the things which are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my mind that I may know the things that are of God. Come, Holy Spirit, into my soul that I belong only to God. Sanctify all that I think, say, and do that, that all, all will be for, for the glory, glory of God. God. Amen. Amen. O Maria, transform my heart unto thine. Place around it a wreath of purity, adorned in virtue. Take my heart, dear mother, consecrated as your own. Present it to God, Father, as an offering from me to you. Help me, O Maria, in each day to make your heart more known. Pentecost prayer. As, As we, we say this prayer given, given to us by Our Lady, Lady may, may our hearts, hearts be open to recognize and accept the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And may we step forward confidently in this battle for the triumph, the triumph of, of the Immaculate Heart. We are called to become a reflection of Christ, a reflection of the face of God that, that all may be drawn, drawn to, so that, that his glory may be magnified through our lives. My dear mm. children, we bring my Jesus such joy today. I pass to you all a great blessing from God. He desires to create in his children unity and glory to his name. Spirit, Spirit of Christ, stir me. Spirit of Christ, move me. Spirit of Christ, fill me. Spirit of Christ, seal me. Consecrate in me your heart and will, O Heavenly Father. Create in me a fountain of virtues. Seal my soul as your own, that your reflection in me may be a light for all to see. Amen. Amen. In the name, name of, of the, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.